disgruntledduck.com. So I'm cracking on with this guy at the moment. This is this T34 from ICM. Uh, I've not really built one of their models, but it seems to be pretty nice. Just made a start on the top of the hull. Um, yeah, this looks all right. So far, it's been really clean fit. Uh, just a couple of bits I've put on there. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So this is what's crazy to me, right? So there's a fair bit of detail there, right? Rivets and whatnot. However, this piece is going to go over there and we're going to lose all that. Um, yeah, that's just strange to me. Oh well. So I've done the first 15 steps of this little guy. It's coming together nicely. There's a few parts I'm going to come back to. Um, so I've just marked off in the book where they are um because i want to fit them at a later date just some of the more fragile pieces so yeah it's going well and uh, we'll crack on tomorrow so one side of the suspension is now in so um, yeah this was really easy actually and it looks pretty good as well so now both sides of the suspension are done um the next job is to make and fit the seats um and i'm supposed to be fitting these little gear leaves as well i'm not going to do that Reason being, you're not going to see it for one, um, but secondly, I want to keep hold of these parts in case I want to scratch build something in future. Um, so yeah, I'm going to skip that and onto the exterior now. Right, so I've fitted all these side handles, top handles and the hooks on front and back. So it looks like uh, next stage is going to be the turret. So this is the only part so far that's not been a clean fit is on the turret. So uh, I've glued it on, I'm going to leave it overnight so it sets up nicely, then a little bit of filler in there. It's not too bad, but uh, considering how well the rest of the kit's been, it's been really clean fit. This was just a little bit of a shocker to me. Um, yeah, it's not focusing on it, there we go. Um, this was a little bit of a shock, but you know, we'll fix it up, it's not going to be a massive problem. So yeah, until tomorrow. So that's the turrets now done. All the handrails, etc., is on the side. All I need to do is finish off and add the aerial and the little periscope parts. Uh, main body's done as well. All the hull has come together really nicely. All that's really left is the tracks and the tow ropes have made up the same rubber, so that's going to be interesting. I'll clean up a little bit and uh, spray those guys. So, yes, yeah, nearly coming, nearly coming to the end of this one. So there's the body of the T34, I've given it a quick coat of green paint. Um, I'm going to take that paint now, add a little bit of yellow to it to line it and just do a few highlights on the top of this, just for some depth. Okay, so you can see straight away, adding a bit of that uh, lighting down colour, there's a lot more depth. So some streaks going down here straight away, that's taking care of some of the weathering. And uh, yeah, it looks just uh, straight away a lot more realistic. So I'm going through these at the moment, uh, painting them by hand, um, just for some, well, more than anything for some practice. And I think that practice is starting to pay off. So I'm going to assemble these road wheels now, uh, start getting this model finished up, and then we're on to some varnishing. All right, so I've got my rubber band tracks painted up, black undercoat, got some chrome on there. And I've had a nice little rust wash, so let that wash dry off. Uh, fit them on, and then uh, yeah, onto some onto some varnish and weathering, and finish it off. So I'm just going over you know, a bit of wash at the minute, I'll try and pick out some of the details. Um, that's where I've just done this one. And that's this one, where I've done some cleaning up on it. Still a bit more cleaning up to do, but. It's starting to look a lot a lot nicer, have a lot more character to it at the moment. So there, now we've got the top of the turret cleaned up a bit and that's looking a lot nicer. You can see a lot of depth on there, which looks pretty awesome. So I've just added on the decals now. I've used a bit of the old uh, Focusing, Microsoul and Microset. Um, I'm quite happy with how the turret's looking all in all. So I reckon I'll let these dry off, a bit of varnish, and then maybe we'll be on to the final little stage of this weathering. Um, depending on how these guys sit down, this should be pretty good. Right, so here we go. I'm onto the T34. Uh, I've started already. 
just a really light little bit of weathering. I don't want to do this too heavy because I actually like the colour that this has come out. So I just want to do a really little bit of light weathering like it's been driving around a yard or something. Not really too much uh, battle wear. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the way this guy's coming out. So right, what I've done is I've gone over the whole tank with quite a, a wet pigment. So I've just taken, what one have I taken? What was this? The Vallejo Burnt Umber. Uh, mixed it in a palette with a little bit of water and then slapped it on quite thick. So once that dries, as on here, just gone over with a couple of soft brushes and just sort of blend it in. Um, keep a little bit, bit of pigment in places, but just really give it a softer look. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. What I want to do now though is I want to give this a coat of varnish, a matte varnish, and then I'm going to go over again with some even lighter pigments. Um, so let's see how that goes. But I need to work on this guy first and uh, get this looking good before we can move on to that stage. So right, here we go. Here's the uh, the T34 now. So I've given it a, I've given it a coat of it's a matte varnish. It's just a rattle can, but I think it's a little bit too shiny for me still. So I'm not sure if I'm going to apply some more pigment now or if I want to try and find another a flatter varnish to go over this guy with. Um, so bear with me. I've still got a couple of lines along the side of these cans that I'm a little bit a little bit upset about, but overall I'm pretty happy with this. So yeah, I really wasn't happy. Well, I'm not happy. I say I wasn't happy. I'm not happy with that. It's a bit too shiny. So I've gone over it with some matte varnish. And as you can see, it's definitely a lot duller. I mean, the light's still catching a little bit, but that is a lot duller than that shiny, uh, shiny little guy. So yeah, that looks a bit better. I think, I don't know what I'm going to, I think I'm just going to finish varnishing this and I might call it done. Um, I don't think I really want to do too much more with it. I think I'm happy with that. So, yeah, I think uh, oh, it's actually coming up a lot shinier on camera than it actually is to the naked eye. Um, I'm just going to fit. There's a couple of clear parts. So I'm going to fit them on now, and I think we're going to call it done. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and leave a comment.